Hello everyone, this video is about aux2 reductases and their classification. Before that, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like it and share it. Coming to introduction, these aux2 reductases are class 1 enzymes. We know that enzymes are classified into 6 classes. The first class is aux2 reductases. And the other important point is, the enzymes which are involved in biological oxidation all those enzymes are oxidoreductases. Coming to definition of oxidoreductases, the enzymes which are involved in oxidation reduction reactions, they are called as oxidoreductases. So, chemically, oxidation is the removal of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. And these oxidoreductases are classified into four groups oxidases, dehydrogenases, hydroperoxidases and oxygenases. So, now we will see in detail about each group of oxidoreductases. Starting with oxidases, these are the enzymes that catalyze the removal of hydrogen from a substrate in the form of water or hydrogen peroxide. So, whenever these are removing the hydrogens, here the acceptor of the removed hydrogen is oxygen. To understand it easily, let, let us consider general reactions catalyzed by oxidases. In the first reaction, this oxidase is removing the hydrogens from the reduced substrate SH2 and those are accepted by the half of the molecular oxygen so that this oxygen is converted into water. And in the second reaction, this oxidase is removing the hydrogens from the again reduced substrate SH2 and those are transferred to the molecular oxygen. So, after accepting the hydrogens, oxygen is converted into hydrogen peroxide. So, in this way, oxidases they are responsible for the removal of hydrogens from the substrate and those removed hydrogens they are accepted by the oxygen and so that it may form water or hydrogen peroxide. Now, coming to the examples of oxidases cytochrome oxidase and flavoprotein oxidases. So, cytochrome oxidase is the terminal component of electron transport chain. It transfers electrons to the oxygen. And second example is flavoprotein oxidases. So, flavoprotein means enzymes which contain FMN or FAD as prosthetic group. They are called as the flavoproteins. And the examples are L-amino acid oxidase, it is found in kidneys and its function is it is involved in oxidative deamination of L amino acids. And the other example is xanthine oxidase. This particular enzyme converts purine bases to uric acid. Now, coming to second group of oxidases that is dehydrogenases, enzymes that catalyze the removal of hydrogen from a substrate are called as dehydrogenases. So, we have seen that oxidases they are using oxygen as the acceptor of the hydrogen, but here dehydrogenase they cannot utilize oxygen as hydrogen acceptor. So, because of this, these dehydrogenases they require specific coenzymes as acceptor of the hydrogen atoms. The coenzymes of dehydrogenase may be nicotinamide coenzymes like NAD plus or NADP plus or flavin coenzymes FMN or FAD. Now, coming to general reaction where this NAD plus is required. This is a reversible reaction and you can see in the left side of the reaction the reduced substrate or product it transfers hydrogens to the NAD plus. After that after accepting the hydrogens NAD plus is reduced to NADH plus plus and the reduced substrate is converted into oxidized substrate or product. Now, in reverse that is when you see the right side of the reactants uh, that is oxidized substrate or product plus NADH plus H plus. Now, the hydrogen can be transferred from NADH to oxidized substrate or product. So, when hydrogens are transferred, this oxidized substrate or product is converted into reduced substrate or product and NADH is converted into NAD plus. Now, coming to general reaction involving the FAD. So, here you can see in the left side of the reaction again 
there is reduced substrate or product. Now the hydrogens are transferred to the FAD. After that, the reduced substrate or product is converted into oxidized substrate or product plus FAD is converted into FADH2. And this is also a reversible reaction. Again, the right side of the reactants that is oxidized substrate or product plus FADH2, they react to form the products that is reduced substrate or product. When this happens, oxidized substrate is converted into reduced substrate and FADH2 after losing or after transferring hydrogens to the substrate, it is converted into FAD. So, the reduced coenzyme FADH2 is converted into oxidized coenzyme FAD. Coming to examples of dehydrogenases, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, malate dehydrogenase, isocitrate dehydrogenase, pyruvate dehydrogenase. So, all these enzymes which are in blue, they require NAD as the coenzyme. Succinate dehydrogenase requires FAD as the coenzyme and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase requires NADP plus as the coenzyme. So, basically all these enzymes are examples for dehydrogenases. Coming to the third group of oxidoreductases that is hydroperoxidases. So, these enzymes they use hydrogen peroxide as substrate and these are classified into two types peroxidases and catalase. The important function of these hydroperoxidases is these protect the body from ROS that is reactive oxygen species. So, these are harmful agents if they are accumulated in our body it leads to some diseases like cancer and atherosclerosis. So, in order to prevent these diseases, in order to prevent the risk of these diseases, we require these hydroperoxidases. Now, coming to general reaction, basically these peroxidases, they reduce the peroxide using various electron acceptors. So, this is general reaction where you can see hydrogen peroxide is converted into water. So, it is detoxifying the hydrogen peroxide to water. And these peroxides are found in milk, in leukocytes, platelets and in other tissues involved in the eicosanoid metabolism. So, generally in the reaction catalyzed by peroxidase, hydrogen peroxide is reduced at the expense of several substances. So, which will act as electron acceptors. So, such as vitamin C, quinones and cytochrome C. And the example of this peroxidase is glutathione peroxidase. This particular enzyme protects the erythrocytes by catalyzing the destruction of hydrogen peroxide through the conversion of reduced glutathione to its oxidized glutathione. So, in order to convert hydrogen peroxide into water, it uses the reduced glutathione that is GSH and during this reaction GSH is, is converted into GSSG that is oxidized form of the glutathione. This reaction is important because accumulation of hydrogen peroxide in erythrocyte will damage the lipids in the membrane. So, whenever that happens, the membrane that is RBC membrane becomes weak and it can be easily lysed because of which it leads to excessive hemolysis and anemia. Coming to second type of hydroperoxidases that is catalase. So, these catalases they use hydrogen peroxide as electron donor and also as electron acceptor. So, basically these catalases are hemoproteins containing four heme groups and coming to the reaction catalyzed by catalase. So, in this reaction you can see two molecules of hydrogen peroxide they are converted into two molecules of water plus oxygen and this is the one of the fastest enzyme reactions known destroying millions of damaging hydrogen peroxide molecules per second. And during this reaction, this catalase uses one molecule of hydrogen peroxide as a substrate electron donor and another molecule of hydrogen peroxide as an electron acceptor. So, catalase is found in blood, bone marrow, mucous membranes, kidney and liver. And peroxisomes which are found in many tissues including liver, 
they are rich in oxidases and catalase coming to the fourth group of oxidoreductases that is oxygenases so these enzymes they catalyze the direct transfer and incorporation of oxygen into a substrate molecule so this basically involves two steps first step is oxygen is bound to the enzyme at the active site and this bound oxygen is transferred to the substrate and these oxygenases they are classified into two one is mono oxygenase and the other one is deoxygenase so we'll discuss details about these two coming to mono oxygenases these are also known as mixed function oxidases or hydroxylases because they are catalyzing the reactions where it leads to incorporation of hydroxyl group into the substrate and these mono oxygenases name itself indicates mono means single so these enzymes incorporate only one atom of the molecular oxygen into the substrate now coming to the general reaction catalyzed by mono oxygenase so in this reaction you can see the reactants ah plus oxygen plus bh2 so in the presence of mono oxygenase this particular enzyme is transferring oxygen to the substrate so that ah is converted into aoh and water is formed in the reaction and bh2 is converted into b and coming to examples of oxygenases cytochrome p450 phenylalanine hydroxylase and tyrosine hydroxylase so all these enzymes they are adding only one oxygen atom out of molecular oxygen into the substrate and thereby they are creating a hydroxyl group in the substrate now coming to the second class that is dioxygenases name itself indicates di means two so these enzymes they incorporate both the atoms of molecular oxygen into the substrate molecules coming to general reaction of dioxygenase a plus o2 so this particular reaction dioxygenase is transferring two oxygen atoms to the substrate so that it is converted into ao2 and the examples of dioxygenases are tryptophan pyrolase homozygote dioxygenase